What's up you guys, John New for New Finance. And today, if you wanna learn how to do 90% financing on purchase, 100% on rehab, and be able to do that in rural counties, you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire lender Q&A. Um, today, we have Savannah Morose with us with CV3 Capital. So if you don't know about CV3, they are a branch off from Civic. So Civic had their primary lending products, they got stopped when rates went up, and guess what? A lot of the AEs were like, hey, I need to do business. They started a new fund, so they aren't related to Civic, but a lot of the employees took their model from Civic and created their own fund, CV3. So Savannah's actually been with uh, Civic for seven plus years. She's been in private money for 11 years and she's been with CV3 since they started. So there's no better person to work with than Savannah. She does about 80 loans so far this year. So that's about 16 loans a month. So she's killing it. So you're going to want to listen to this Q&A. You're going to want to hit up Savannah after this call and add these guys to your Rolodex if you're doing fix and flip loans and you're doing these uh, these rental property loans. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the Q&A. Thanks. All right, well, let's kick off the call. I'm going to share my screen, show everybody, you know, if you're in the Private Money Mastermind group with us, you're going to have access to this sheet. Um, I bring this sheet up on every lender Q&A. So if you don't have access to the sheet, you'll at least, after this call, get a link to a piece of this sheet, and you can create your own sheet. Um, but as you guys can see, we run a lot of lender buckets here. We got our one to four fix and flip, one to four perm, five plus perm, ground up, and so many buckets here. And every once in a while, we bring on our lenders. And this is where Savannah sits. Savannah, we have you in the fix and flip bucket, I believe, right now. And so, you know, Savannah does a little bit more than just fix and flips. However, she is probably one of the strongest resources on that end, especially considering the rural assets, which is something that most private money lenders stay away from. So, Savannah, I do appreciate you being on the call. Um uh, I really do. We've been we have some deals in the pipe with you right now, so we're excited to get those things rolling. We have some some hair on a funky deal as well, so we, maybe we can talk about that today. But why don't you go ahead and just introduce yourself? You know who you are, maybe a little bit about yourself for so so those for those people who don't know you and and don't know CV3, and then we'll get into your products. Yeah. Absolutely. So my name is Savannah and I am with CV3 Financial. We're a direct private money lender. And as you mentioned, we do specialize in fix and flip loans, non-owner occupied bridge loans, and also the DSCR loans. Um, and we recently launched Ground Up Construction, uh, but that is a brand new program for us. So it probably needs another 30 days or so till it's as smooth as our, you know, and efficient as our other programs. But we we at least do offer that now as well. I like ground up. Everybody wants to do ground up yep. right now. It's like the only way to get a good margin is like people are attacking yeah. ground up. You got to build. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yep. So you're Absolutely. testing that program. You're testing that program right now. Or Yep. I believe we have about five in uh, underwriting currently. Uh, we're about to fund our first one. Um, we launched that in six states, I believe. Um, and then we're going to obviously launch into the other 33 states that we are in. Uh, but tentatively, we're in California, Texas, Arizona, Florida, and Georgia, and I Great. believe a couple others. But yes, but then we will expand that out as well. Are you sticking, are, are you still able to go kind of more rural on that, like the fix and flip? Or are you sticking to the metro areas in those states? I think initially we'll stick to more metro areas for the ground up. Um, but if it's something that you know, is rural in terms of it's still under 10 acres and, you know, it, the comps are still there for this type of property and we still have a good ARV, we'll take a look at it. Absolutely. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Do you have anything to share with us on your screen today? I do. Absolutely. I'm going to um, share our updated uh, broker welcome guide, the condensed eight page version. However, we do also have a uh, 25 page version if somebody is more um, in the used to being in the, uh, you know, uh, owner occupied space and they don't quite understand private money. So it just is a lot more detail in case anybody ever wants that. But if you are well versed in the private field, which obviously I assume you all are, we just keep this little eight page one to, uh, you know, get straight to the point. So let me go ahead and share this with you. And then of course I will send you our, uh, updated, uh, packet as well so that you have this. And let me just share. 
Uh, let's see. I think I'm sharing this screen. Let me move this one here. Okay, let me know if you can see the broker welcome guide. I can see your can broken see your welcome, welcome guide. All right, fantastic. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so this is obviously just CV3. And this is just a welcome letter from one of our EVPs. Um, so the main thing about this is it has live links in it. So as you go through, you can just save this PDF, but then you can always click into these links. Uh, for example, where we lend, and then it just opens up right to our where we lend landing page. So it'll always be up to date showing you the states that we do lend in. So that is just a quick guide. If you have something and you want to see if we lend there and we can get it done, you just click right into where we lend. Um, submitting your deal to us. Again, you guys don't really have to worry about this because you can simply shoot me an email and I'm happy to quote anything out for you just with the basic information. But if you'd like to kind of get a an idea on the uh, entire package, you can just click that link and then copy and paste this uh, for whatever strategy you have. If it's a fix and flip, you know, if it's a refinance, et cetera, and you can just copy and paste this right into an email over to me and uh, type in the answers. And then I can get you a really quick turnaround on the quotes and terms that we can offer for that. So that's just a nice resource there that's also in the PDF. Um, and then required documentation. It is very minimal. We'll, we're always going to need the borrower's driver's license, two months of bank statements on a purchase. But if it's a refinance, we only need their most recent month of bank statements. Uh, purchase contract, if it's a purchase, lease agreement, if applicable. Uh, entity docs, if we are vesting in an entity. And then rehab budget, of course, which I have a template I can send you guys. We always use our own template. Uh, and then just the contact info for uh, the title and insurance that the borrower wants to use. Uh, we, our processors in-house, order the title and the insurance and the appraisal. And we, of course, just keep you CC'd on everything. But we handle all of that in-house. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to stop you right here. If you can go back to that slide. Um, Absolutely. Some quick questions. Okay. So let's talk about those valid photo IDs. So I'm seeing yes. U.S. passport. I'm seeing some visa action there. So why don't we talk about yes. the foreign national and foreign investor policies while we're on this slide? Absolutely. So uh, it's, it's really easy. We are fine with foreign nationals and permanent residents. And the only thing is that we do require they populate a scorable FICO, either with their I-10, which sometimes they will, or if they have a social with that. As long as we can populate even one score, uh, th then we're good lending to them. There's no hit to the rate for being a foreign national. Uh, they get priced exactly the same as everybody else. We just do need a scorable FICO. Okay, I-10 is okay. Absolutely. I'm, I'm hearing foreign investors not a go though, right? So you cannot be a Canadian or a Mexico, you know, investing in the United States. You got to be living here on some sort of valid visa. Uh, so if you are not living here and you're living in your country of origin and you're not going to be here to sign loan docs, we will not need that visa because you're, we need to show that they're here legally at the time they're signing the loan docs for the docs to be valid. If they live in another country uh, and are going to sign at a U.S. embassy, for example, in their country, that would negate the visa requirement, but they still would have to populate a U.S. FICO. So they would right. have had to have had, you know, some kind of paperwork to demonstrate I that. I-10 in that yeah. case. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha, Absolutely. gotcha. What about, okay, so what about signing for your loans? I have an investor in Israel and Mark mm -hmm. knows all about this scenario. This is Mark's scenario, essentially. So yeah, Mark, I, do you mind me talking about it a little bit? Oh, no, so yes. So Savannah, I... I was working this. I brought it to John, and John happened to know them. They went to months ago, but oh. sure. And 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 you know what happened with them, John? So yeah. Go ahead. So the the story is, um, investors in Israel. Okay, mm -hmm. one investors in the United States, but the guarantor is in Israel, and Israel's embassy timelines are out of whack due to war time. Uh -huh. So, anyways, uh, can you sign on a power of attorney or a virtual? Or do we have to sign an embassy? Are you like Velocity, like us? We will not allow the virtual. We can't do the RON. But we do, on a case-by-case -case basis, allow power of attorneys. 
uh, it would just have to go to our exception desk. I actually just got one approved because the borrower is in Italy traveling for a month. And so she's having someone signed for her here. Um, so yes, on a case by case basis, we will allow our power of attorney. Mark, go smash it, bro. Okay. Come on. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. And I don't recall, John, if they, if that was a DSCR or a, yeah. uh, yeah, they will go DSCR, um, CB3, and the pro the loan scenario, those guys are looking to refinance, Mark, into PERM loans. So okay. um, uh, your I'll, problem, I'll, though, I'll have to send you, If I close it, John, I'll have to send you a little spiff. But they, hey, dude. Yeah. Savannah, they only want to do that because of the higher credit score, and it wasn't going to make that much of a difference in the payment either. A um, cu couple things, So because I still didn't write all this down or – Make my notes. What, what's your minimum loan amount or appraised value? Minimum loan amount is seventy five thousand for DSCR. Yeah. So there's their issue. So they they're running these kind of low value assets in Ohio, uh, Section mm. Eight. Uh, can you? We can do blanket loans though, right? So we can do blanket loans, but we still separate the base loan amount per property internally, which has wow. to be still seventy five thousand per property. Oh. What's okay. the yeah. point of doing a blanket then? I know <laughs> it's not it's not a, a blanket loan truly. It, we, it's a portfolio in our system, but it's it's still a seventy five min per prop. Got it. So John, that I guess that one loan, well, that, that one property would be the throwaway. Um, and what, yep. oh, Savannah, what, on a, on a fix and flip, what, what's your seasoning requirement? To refi out into DSCR. Um. Well, 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 DSCR would probably be a purchase. Well, not necessarily, but well, uh, let, let's say, uh, well, yes, excuse me. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, yes, my, we, we have no seasoning Nobody's requirements. Judging. Nobody's judging, Mark, spit it out. <laughs> we have no seasoning requirements uh, on any of our products. Okay. So if somebody purchased a property, rehabbed it, and three weeks later, they want to do a cash out refi using that new appraised value, no, you know, absolutely. We'll we'll get a copy of the rehab they did to the property, order the new appraisal, refi them into DSCR. Okay. Well, John, I was saying my, my head's in vacation mode. I've been here for <laughs> four days, so uh, I'm, I'm I'll work a little bit every day. Yeah, I was in Vegas this weekend, so my mind was totally gone. Um, oh, I feel you. Yeah. Stay up late, you know, too relaxed. Yeah. No, <laughs> why, why don't you let lend in Nevada? Me? Yeah, so no, it's, no. We, we did, we always used to, we've just, it's been with the regulators for ever now where we, they said probably next month, um, cause we actually have somebody moving there cause we have to go brick and mortar and she's already, you know, ready in there. And, you know, we're, we're ready to rock. I'm licensed in Nevada. You know, we we're all ready. It's just, it's mm -hmm. with the regulators. But as of yesterday's town hall meeting, they told us it's tentative for next month that it should all be set and ready to go. Okay, and um, when are you coming to New York? You're, you're coming, um, not you. Okay. Yeah, so we are probably not going to lend in New York uh, myself, hopefully soon. I love New York. <laughs> but um, uh, yes, us lending in New York, I think it's just the foreclosure timelines. We're just not, it, it's not a big initiative for us. Not to say we'll never lend there. I just know it's not, you know, it's not going to be a this year thing. Uh, and it's not a big initiative for us. Okay. Right on, Bye. right on. Very good, very good. Okay, so we got all that out of the way. That's fantastic. Um, let's talk about your purchase agreements really quick. So as you yes. know, our investors often have wholesalers attached to their deals. Can you talk uh -huh. about simultaneous closings and attaching wholesaler fees and, and all that? Yep, absolutely. So this is good timing because we're in the process of changing our guidelines to where we can finance the assignment fees, um, which also is most likely tentatively going to be next month. Uh, they've been working on that and revising loan docs. Uh, currently, the way we have it is we can't finance the assignment fees. So we get a, uh, either they can do a double closing, um, you know, with, with escrow, depending if, if the A to B party is, is okay with that, or which is the most likely scenario, B to C party is going to have to pay the assignment fee out of pocket cash at close. Um, the good news is we can increase our loan amount if the property appraises higher than the purchase price. Um, you know, so it, it can kind of compensate a little bit, uh, but it really just comes down to the numbers. Uh, but as of right now, the clients are paying the assignment fees cash, you know, at yep. close. 
but that is very short lived because we're working on to where we can now finance that. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so if anybody's not familiar, fix and flipping, getting deals on properties, mostly they're going to come from wholesalers, which is the investor's realtor. So uh, so yeah, the double closing is good though. Double closing is the same thing. Most lenders do yeah. the double closing. Velocity is kind of tough on that. Um, however, yeah, it's, that's, that's great. Okay, okay let's uh, move on. Lease agreements. Oh, well, yeah, go ahead. Don't okay. Argue. No, no, I, I had a, okay. I, well, when we get down to, I had a question on the, um, uh, on the, oh, oh, excuse me, the, the budgets. But we, you want to see a copy of When we get down there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So this, is the uh, template and I can send you guys a copy of this as well. This is what we have them fill out. Uh, let's see. Will you take any budget or must it be your template? If we're financing it, it must be our template. Um, if the borrower is self-financing it, then of course any template is fine. Okay, as long fine. as it's a, you know, legible, you know, decent, pretty good template. Uh, okay. But the first page, you know, they just choose what the scope of work is, give us a, you know, give an example of the level of detail that we want to see here in the description box. And then, of course, page two, we just have all the line items out there for them, and they can just type in the descriptions here as well. Um, right. So this is just the standard one, you know, we 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 always use. And it's, just it's so you know, Savannah, we're, not, we're not seeing anything right now. You got to drag it over oh. to your other screen. But uh Oh, that's okay. That's I think we get it. It's a okay. It's a, well, I'll send you guys a copy of this. I don't know why it's not uh, popping up. So, Savannah, yeah. mo most of my flippers, um, if it's if it's light rehab, moderate, something that doesn't mm -hmm. require a license, they they don't have a GC or the ones with the heavy rehab, they're getting a GC later on. But in your case, mm -hmm. you you require that up front. We only require a GC if the if it's a brand new investor who has not owned or sold an investment property in the last three years. If somebody can show one for experience in the last three years, we let them go owner builder. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. John, I'm, I'm, I'm e emailing Evan right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Any more questions on the needed documents before I move to the next page? Nope. Everything looks good there. Perfect. And then this is probably the most uh, utilized page in this PDF. It is where you will go into our product matrix and find all of the guidelines, you know, LTV matrix, um, you know, something that changed since last we spoke, our max LTV used to be 85, now it's 90. Um, so if somebody is experienced and has a 720 FICO, now we'll go to 90 LTV plus 100 rehab. Um, and, you know, you can kind of just scroll through. Um, the LTV map is, is at the end. We are not seeing it, sister. We're not seeing it. I think here, if you want to do this, you can what? stop sharing your screen and then yes, try to share your screen again. But this time you need to choose a uh, window or a uh, screen instead of window. I think you chose window. So you're stuck in your, in your choose screen. Okay. And I think you'll be Let's... able to drag into your screen, whatever you want us to see. And if it doesn't work, no worries. We, we can just work through it. Okay. Let me. It'll give you a choice screen or window. And that's where it gets tricky. Okay. I'm going to click screen two. There you and, go. Now we, we see your emails. Okay. Can you guys see now the, yes. okay. What in the world? Sorry, guys. I guess I'm more proficient on Microsoft Teams. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. And if you, okay. if you get on something like this, just do like a click of a Zoom. We'll get us to a good view here. Okay. Let me go here. Yeah, Is that a perfect. little better? Much better. Perfect. Okay, so these, well, then going uh, backwards, did you guys see this page, the CV3 guidelines, take a closer yes. look? That's what Perfect. we're looking okay. at, yep. Awesome. So once you click it, and then now you can see the web page with the actual guidelines. Perfect. So th this we have in here for all of our programs. So you can simply click in and read through, and you can see all of the guidelines as well as the LTV matrix. 
um, pretty much anything you would need to know. Of course, you can always just reach out to me if it's a quick question and you don't want to pop in here. Um, but it shows the LTVs by state, uh, LTVs by loan amount and borrower credit score. And, um, you know, everything is pretty much in here. And it is for, we have it for the bridge with renovation. Um, we have it for the bridge portfolio loan, which would not include renovation. Um, and then our long-term rental DSCR loan, same thing. It just opens you right up. And then all of the guidelines are in there. But for Got the it. DSCR, yes. So what, Savannah, you're walking us through is basically our broker guidebook. So we have the yep. guidebook. It's like, hey, I want to work some some CV3 deal. Let me open up the guidebook, the PDF, and boom, I got all my links to everything I need. Are these links updated or do we have to have the updated guidebook every month or whatever? Uh, so you the, the links will get updated. The problem was with our last two broker um, packages that we had out before we perfected them, the links ended up just not connecting once we updated the web pages, but that should yeah. not be a problem anymore. Yeah. Now nice. the links should always be updated. Perfect. So just send the new, send the updated broker book. And after this call, we'll, we'll send it off to everybody. Oh, the, absolutely. Yep. I will send that out. And then, um, the last pages, it just talks about our inner circle, which is basically just, it's for brokers as well as investors if we work directly with investors. But um, the more deals you fund as a broker with us, we send you out closing gifts and then rewards and then trips, Did you depending guys, on how you guys many. Ripped, you guys ripped that brand from somebody, didn't you? The inner uh, circle. No, I don't know. So it used to be called the, um, cause it's civic. We had this for years, but it, I forget what we called it there. Um, what did we call it at civic? It was the, the Vic, the victory club, I think okay. or, it was something club. You'd think I'd remember being there seven years, but, um, but okay. so we stole the, the same concept, but the name is different, but yeah. There's an inner circle investor group. That you can be part of it has the exact same colors that you guys are using here. These uh, ducks colors is it, or whatever. Is it like a reward thing like this too, no. or it's actually like a lender? No, no, no. You 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 become an investor in their platform, okay. and you pay to be part of the inner circle where you know you invest in each other's deals, right? So oh, okay, I know I've never heard of that. Looks, Interesting. Looks, looks a lot alike. Looks a lot alike. So that's okay. You got inner circle. Oh, they don't hilarious. have a they don't have a trademark on inner circle. That's hilarious. Well, yeah. well, we'll share it with them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, but so that's just what that is. It's just rewards that get sent out to you guys, little presents and stuff. Uh, and then that's that's the the PDF package. So, like I said, I'll send uh, I'll send out the updated version now that this one does not have any uh, any bugs with the link. So I'll be sure to get that over to you. And since you couldn't see the rehab budget template that I shared, unfortunately, I'll just attach that as well, just so you guys have it on file if you ever want to use it and send anything over. Great. Do you have any white label marketing material for our brokers for your 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 terms and everything? We do. So it's through Total Expert. Uh, and it, it, it's just a, somebody would just need to tell me, hey, I'd like to be invited. And then we send out a link from Total Expert in our platform and it comes over to you. Uh, and then you just fill out your profile. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Total Expert, but basically- no. Oh yeah, all, all of the um, the folders here. Let me actually share my screen so you guys could get an idea. And then that'd be great. Let me go share. We need to get you some business here. Yes. This. Um, okay. Can you guys see the total expert? Yes. Okay. Cool. So basically, print marketing, create new. So you guys will have the ability to go in, like like this one is a broker flyer. So you'll, you'll be able to create this flyer yourself. Um, you know, and it has all of our, you know, rental terms on it, but it'll be your picture, your name, all of your information, nothing about us. Right. Um, so yeah, that's the broker version. Here's another one. You guys can create this one. So it, and, and it's really easy. It's you literally just your, once your profile is created into, in the total expert platform, you just click which one you want to make. 
click your profile, and then it auto populates it in here and you can save it as a PDF. You can link it to your LinkedIn, your Facebook, your Instagram, and then just share it right to one of your social media platforms. Um, it's, it's really, it, it's what we use for all of our stuff. Did you guys enroll with total expert to, for just your brokers or is it like, is this a service that these guys are providing to lenders or like, what, what is this? Yeah. So we pay for it. So we pay for it ourselves. And we also pay to be able to invite our brokers and have them use our account. So, uh, but, but, but you guys, like, if you wanted to sign up on your own too, you, you totally can, you just pay and, you know, and join. But if you do it through us and, you know, you're just one of our brokers, I just send you the invite and you don't have to pay for anything. You just use it through our account that we already have. I understand. And you're providing, yeah. Is it literally just a, uh, a marketing directory? Is that all they do for companies or what is this? So we use it for our CRM. It is the main thing. Um, and like email blasts, um, like Ed, we use it for everything. We love total experts. We it's it's our it's our database and it's it's our marketing platform to create, you know, flyers and in, in the email blast. Mark, yeah. have and you it, used and it? it uh -uh. Um, I'm asking Mark really quick. I, I was gonna ask, is it is it like go high level if you're familiar with that? High level in go terms high, of go high levels of CRM. Um, so I, I personally, a Civic and here, the only CRMs I've ever used are Total Expert and then Velocify. So those are my only two, um, you know, levels that I can compare on. So for me, I love it. I've never needed anything more. It there's email drips. Um, you know, it's it's. I can see who, you know, who opens, who's on the drips, who's on the campaign. It communicates directly okay. with. The well, send us, I send us your total expert rep and we'll uh, we'll bring them on for another call because I think we all are interested in using a, a higher level CRM. So, yeah, um, that's, been a, that's been a process of trial and error, I think, for all of us. And I've, I haven't nailed yes. down really a good one that I honestly have settled my feet into. I've tried a well, lot I, of stuff. I, yeah. yeah. I, I was about to sign up for go high level. So yeah, I have go high uh. level. Yeah, I have to go high level, but not for that, not for our, our lending business. Uh, well, to to do email blasts and marketing, not not for the CRM part, but I do need the CRM. And Savannah, you, you've been holding out on us with us. Yeah, no, I, I thought everybody used Total Expert. We've used it for like nine years. And so it's like all I've really ever used. So I don't know if it, anything else is better, but I personally love it. You know, yeah. it does everything I need. I pop on there, do a, you know, I click share LinkedIn and put, I can schedule social media posts out for weeks and months, you know, like it, it does everything. So yeah, so you, absolutely look into it. You have it. to become a, a reseller for them and and get on, yeah, get on another call and sell to all of us. Yeah, right. I need to pay a lot of people. I'm out here doing their job. Oh, wow, total expert. That's all I've ever used is total expert. <laughs> Uh, and John, I have to tell you that the, the the boys already got back to me. And Savannah, we'll talk about this next week. But of course, they're saying, can the investor use existing appraisals? 75% LTV cash out or maybe 80% into 30-year debt. Curious to learn more about this investor. So there, uh, uh, Harrison's away this week. So he said, we'll, we'll speak next week. And then... Uh, I don't know, Savannah. I may have to have hop hop have you hop on a call with with me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, in some states we can do eighty cash out, and some states are seventy five. Right, and I I'll get their documents together so we could preview before yeah. the call. Okay. But yeah. Thank you for that, John. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah, I'll probably find someone from Total Expert to hop on with us maybe in a week or so, and we can all jive in. Um, cool. All right, guys, let's open it up for anybody to ask questions. I know we have other people on this call. You're just not sharing your, your visuals today. Frank, it's good to see you, brother. I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks, three weeks. So good to see you. Um, start sending me some scenarios, brother. I want to review some scenarios. I want to see you working, making some money with us. So um, anybody have any other questions? I have Ann Raj in the background. I got Shauna in the background. Mark's here. Mark's been working it. Frank, anybody have any questions for Savannah while we have her? Before we uh before we call this meeting. Oh no, I spoke enough this this one, so I'm good. 
enjoy your vacation. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the I'm in the basement of our rental right now. N nice, nice basement though. Nice, <laughs> very, like, one one of the nicest I've been in. Okay. Yep. 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 Oh, Angela Investments, I see you. Now, now you're gone. That's yeah. Ann Raj's wife. I think that's Rosalinda, right? Hi, yeah, Rosalind here. Good Hi, Savannah. You. Hi, how are you? I just talked to you this morning. Yes, yes. I was okay. going to say uh, I was in communication with you earlier, but um, I hopped in the call late, so I'm going to have to watch the whole recording again. But um, definitely I'll um email you about the, the client that I was talking to you about earlier. Yeah, shoot me an email or if you want to give me a call too. Uh, this is my last thing for the day, so I'm free the whole rest of the day or evening if you want to give me a call. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Cool. All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being on the call. Savannah, once again, thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank you guys for having me. And sorry about my uh, Zoom uh, lack of expertise there on my screen, Sharon. No worries. No worries. You nailed it. It was perfect. Okay, so. Just send us, send us your updated lender book. I'll send it out to everybody who's on our masterclass call. And I don't, I'm not sure if this one will go on a social media or not. So you may or may not see it. If I send it up there, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And then also, um, could you shoot me those Excel forms so that I can update them? A, a few of our things have improved, like pricing, LTVs and things like that. So I just want to make sure it's totally up to date and current. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Before we send it out, I will for sure send you the updated form. Absolutely. Thank okay, you. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you, John. Thank you, Savannah. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Thanks, everyone. Okay.